You know what? You haven't even heard of the future perfect continuous. But if you want to be a really Nazi, you have to subscribe to this channel of the Angry Teacher and I, Mr. Mark, will make you learn all the dances in the world. Okay? So let's cut to the chase and let's move on to the future perfect continuous. So the we are going to talk about two ways of using the future perfect continuous. So the first way is duration before something in the future. For example, Mr. Mark, it's me, will have been giving a class for an hour when Bob finally comes. So Bob is really, really late. Okay, so it's worth mentioning that future perfect continuous has a formula of will plus have plus been and plus a verb plus ing. And don't forget about the person. So I, we, you, they, he, she, it, plus will, plus have, plus being, plus verb, plus the ing, ing. Okay? So to illustrate all the sentence, I'll draw a line, a graph for you. So imagine that here we have now, and he, here we have and then Mr. Mark will have been giving a class. So, in the future, Mr. Mark will have been having a class, yes. But, Bob finally comes. So, he interrupts this future action. So, Bob, it's Bob, right? So, here is Mr. Mark giving a class. So let's move on to the next example. The next example. John will have been working on the project for two years by the time he changes his job. It's a similar sentence and let's illustrate it in the graph. So here is now and here is John will be working for two years. So John, and here's two years of hard labor. Two years. And then, after two years, he will change his job. He'll go somewhere, he'll switch uh, to another job, yes? So changes. All right, so this is all about a future, future perfect, continuous okay so we talked about the duration before something in the future but now let's move on to the cause of something in the future cause but the cause um, we have the marker because if we have because it's a cause so cause because cause because all right so example Mr. Mark, it's me, will be hungry. Do you know what the hungry means? So, hungry means hungry plus angry. So, Mr. Mark will be hungry by the time he comes home because he will have been working all day long. So, Let's draw a line. Here's Miss, here is now, and Mr. Mark will have been working all day long. So here is a day. Here's Mr. Mark, and he's working, working hard, working like a like a horse, yeah? Like a slave! And by the time he comes home, so he 
comes home, right? Here, comes home. He will have been working really hard all day long. So, working all day long. And Mr. Mark will come very hungry and like angry and hungry and will eat everything from the fridge. All right, so after that, don't forget that we have such verbs as a stative verbs, yes? And we can't put them in the continuous. So if you want, if you have a stative verb, for example, have or forget or remember or be even, you can't put them in the continuous form. So what to do with that? So you have to use the future perfect instead of the future perfect continuous. For example, I will have forgotten her name by that time. So forget, this word forget, we can't use in the continuous. We can't say we'll have been forgetting. No, because forget can take ing. So we can't say forgetting. So that's why we switch to the present of to the future, in the future, perfect. So this is the future perfect. We have have and we have the third form of the verb. Forget, forgot, forgotten. We, we take forgotten. All right, so I will have forgotten her name by that time. Okay, because I, I have a short memory, guys. I am too old. Okay, guys, so now your homework is to make up two sentences in the duration before something in the future and cause of something in the future. So, according to rules. And don't forget about the table of the stative verbs that you'll find attached below. All right, before we wrap up, I'd like to mention, guess what? That you have here to subscribe to my channel, yes, to like this video and to share this video with your friends and followers. Don't forget to click the bell button not to miss my classes. Okay, bye!